Good afternoon, YouTubers, coming to you from Knox City, a very foggy Knox City. Look at that sky, amazing. I did vlog a little bit yesterday on Thanksgiving, but I couldn't vlog too much simply because, number one, there was a lot of loud music and Disney stuff on the TV of the uh, residence uh, that I went to to enjoy my Thanksgiving meal feast, indeed. So... Didn't vlog too much there, but today, I'm going to have, I just got invited to Brother Bobby's church, I think down there in Stanford, to have a little Thanksgiving meal, so I want to go with Michael, a good friend of mine, and um, I'll just take you guys along, so stay tuned for that, and let's hit the road, oh yeah. a little different or foggy. That, that is creative. <laughs> that is really creative. <laughs> As you can see, we made it to the church, and now we are all ready to get our grub on.
here with a very famous individual. No, not myself. <laughs> Who are you, sir? Uh, if I'm, if I, they should know, right? What's that? No, I'm just kidding. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this guy writes for the Dallas Cowboys right. for their website. Julie's husband. That's my name. That's my title. <laughs> there you Julie's go. Husband. Chat, the program there. <laughs> there you go. There you go. What's it like uh, writing for the Dallas Cowboys? How long have you been doing? This is my 21st year. It's been pretty awesome. Uh, you know, it's it's a, there's always something. It's, and there's always excitement going on with this team. Uh, good and bad. It's like a roller coaster. And there's ups, there's down, there's flips, there's turns, there's sideways. So right now we're kind of down, but you know we'll see how we get it, get it back up and, and get it going for too long. The thing of it is, you know, like I was telling you, I've done a few videos where I'm just sashing a little bit. But when you get down to the bottom line. Okay. You want to get down to the nitty gritty. Is that um, it's, it's all about the heart, it's all about the passion and the desire. How badly do they want? Do they right. really want to go to the big dance like the Super Bowl, right. or are they just collecting the paycheck? You know what I mean? It is what it is. Right. We're about to find out this next We're about few, to find next out few. Exactly. When it really gets going these next few months, uh, weeks, we'll, we'll find out. I, I bet they want it pretty good. Exactly, exactly. Well, thank you, sir, for this right. little quick uh, impromptu interview. Uh, thank you very much. Happy Thanksgiving. And happy Thanksgiving. All right. Thanks, brother. You guys are really happy. I've been yes. telling you before, this is Brother Bobby. <laughs> Say hi hey, to you all my legion of fans out there. <laughs> God bless you guys. So, um, tell the people out there who you are and um, how long have you been pastoring uh, this church. And just tell... The story on how you came here. Okay. Yeah. If you don't mind. No, I don't mind one bit. Yeah, my name's uh, Bobby Acosta. I'm the pastor here at House of God Church in Stanford, Stanford, Texas. We've been here going on two years, I think, two maybe two and a half years, somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. It's fitting that uh, we call the church House of God because that's actually where we started at. We started at our house. That was about three years ago. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It felt like the good Lord just put it on my heart to start up a church at home. And so that's what we did. We started up a church at home. Uh, we did that for about four months, four to five months. And then mm -hmm. the good Lord blessed us with this church, and we've been here ever since. So, that's, that's awesome. That's amazing. Only God. That's amazing. You see, when the power of God comes upon you, <laughs> and you give it all to God, yes, sir. and you give Him the praise, you give Him the glory, yes, sir. You, give, you just give Him all the thanks. and and all that good stuff. But yeah. amazing things happen. What yes, I mean by that so is true. doors open that would mm -hmm. not normally be open. Yeah. See, we did it all. See, if you were doing this just on your own, mm -hmm. uh, out of the goodness of your heart, you would be, your heart would be in the right place. Right. But you would be doing it on your own. And you wouldn't have yeah. God. You would not have God's guidance. Yeah, so and true. without God's guidance, we are lost. Right, right. You see, as I was uh, explaining to uh, Michael Hawkins mm -hmm. uh, before, uh, before we ate, yes, is that our comfort zone is to take control. Yeah. And it's to take control of the situation. We can give it to God, yeah. but if we don't, if He does not respond in our time limit, or on our on our time, yeah. our time, right. then we take it back because mm -hmm. that's our comfort zone. Yeah. If we take control <laughs> over it, then Preach we it. know it's going to get done. It's going to get done in a timely manner. Yes, However, sir. what people do not seem to realize is that yes, it gets done on your time, but does it get done the right way? That is so. Good. Does it get done the way it is meant or supposed? to be done Man, and with good. God's guidance yes, it gets done correctly Amen. it gets done the <laughs> right way yeah. and you know and, and people are running the we're running the walls running the brick walls mm -hmm. and they're getting mad why is this happening I gave it to God why is this happening well because well you gave it to God but you're using God's name in vain because you're not really you I mean you may have gave, given it to God but how much of that did you give God? Did you give right. a little bit? You did you give ten percent, thirty percent, or a hundred percent? Amen. You know, so right, so there you go. You're preaching it, brother. Yes, sir. That's <laughs> I'm awesome. on the roll right it. now. I'm I on the roll it. right now. I love it. Yes, so sir. yes, sir. So thank you uh, for this little uh, interview. You I, I got to cut thank this you. off right here. I'm going to get into a full preach yeah. or get into a full sermon. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Which is fine, but there's people that want to go. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> All right. God bless you. Thank you, man. God bless you, and thank you again, and. And I'll be seeing you later. All right. Love you guys. Right, yeah, take you. care. God bless. Woo.
got back from House of God Church in Stanford. My life is quite the adventure. I don't know what's going to happen on a daily basis. I literally do not know. I, when I got up this morning, I didn't know I was going to be invited to such an amazing Thanksgiving meal feast. Literally the day after Thanksgiving. <laughs> I literally did not know. But a good friend of mine, Michael Hawkins, did invite me. And I'm like, okay, let's roll, man. Let's go. And met on a lot of amazing people. And, and, just like the theme's been all that long, as you heard me say and mention to, and mention to Brother Bobby that God can only open doors no other man can open. And that is true. Because I never thought in a million years, let alone that I even think this guy would even be at this type of event, is the Dallas Cowboys writer for the website. For the website. I met this guy and I interviewed him. Whew, man, let me tell you, like I said, like I mentioned earlier, being out of my comfort zone, never did that before. He, thankfully, he was gracious enough to allow me to interview him and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. But, you know, it's just, it just facts. God can only open doors. No other man can open. I mean, look at me. You honestly think I would have been able to go out to L.A., Los Angeles, California twice? Ah, no. If I would have tried to do that, never would have happened. Only God can do things like that. Only God. Especially being on ridiculousness. Being on before ridiculousness, before even Tosh.0, being on Attack of the Show on G4, the channel G4. And everything else that I've done, it's all glory to God. Can't deny that. Cannot deny that. But there's something else you also cannot deny. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Click on that notification bell, hit subscribe, not only in that order, you mean hit subscribe, hit that notification bell, so you do not miss another shout out, motivational video, and you don't miss another vlog, make those comments positive, and it's very important that you get those subscriptions up, because I don't know if I'm doing this right, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But I've been trying to get on Book Cameo as a talent for the longest time. And I've not heard anything back from anyone, anybody. I fill out the little form thing that they have, and I do not hear back. I think it's because I don't have enough subscriptions or subscribers on my channel. So get those subscriptions up, because... If you want a personalized shout out from me, the quickest, better, greater way to do it is on Cameo. Get me on it. Because if those subscriptions are up high enough, I think that's what's going to get my foot in the door. But as of now, the only way to get a personalized shout out from me, if you got a birthday, an anniversary, or you need a motivational pep talk, hype talk, the link is in the description below. Click on it and order yourself your own personal shout out from me to you or to whomever. <laughs> but until next episode, until next vlog, vlog 24, because this was vlog 23, I will see you next time. Peace out. Woo!